Get ready for the heavyweight championship in the glamour division as three-year-old Pacers tell all and always a virgin square off with year-end honors possibly on the line. Throb won the West being urged on out of there. So is always a virgin. The gas pedal down. Golden seven from the inside and tell all. Three of them across the track as they spar for the early lead here. It's always a virgin. Won the West now on the outside is hung out there and driving on. Golden seven in the pocket spot. Tell all under a snug hole in the fourth position. Southwind Links gets away fifth. Artist View is parked out and going up there is sixth. What a hot shot is seventh. Then it's running book at the back with Hot Rod Mendale and Forensic Z10 has won the West, won the early skirmish here, but a quick retake here from Always a Virgin, 26 and one, hot opening marker there, and Always a Virgin now used to take the lead. Here comes a brush from Tell All, and Jody Jamison will look for the lead here, and they'll hook up as Always a Virgin parks out Tell All, and those two go at it now. Tell All is parked here by Always a Virgin. He is headstrong now, won the West is third, Golden Seven is fourth, the half, uh, Tore at 53 and two fifths, 27 and one. And they're going at it tooth and nail here in the Breeders' Crown. Always a virgin and tell all are squaring off nose to nose. Jody Jamison and Brian Sears battles back on the inside. Won the West is now third as they race past three quarters. Southwind Lynx is fourth on the outside. Three wide artists view. Buried on the rail is Golden Seven looking for room. Running book to the outside with what a hot shot. Three quarters, one, 21 and two fifths into the stretch of the Breeders' Crown. Always a virgin will try to hold on. Won the West out of the pocket. Slingshotting, artist few looking for an upset. On the outside, what a hot shot. On the extreme outside, forensic C. Tam in deep stretch. Artist few on the inside. What a hot shot. Artist few. George Brennan and artist few at 42 to one. What a hot shot second. Artist few in front. 150 and four fifths. What a big night for George Brennan and the second year in a row that he captures the three year old Colt Pace. Last season with the gritty shark gesture and tonight with artist view for Buzzy Schulte at 42 to one. They catapult off the speed duel between the two big guns. Well, you don't see too many horses win the junior trendsetter in February and take the Breeders' Crown in November. Buzzy Schulte put a little more grab on his hind shoes after that brief break in the limb last week. That made all the difference. George Schulte, Conifer, Express Ride, Armbro Fling. Boy, he'd be proud of this. I know that. George Schulte sure did well. The Hall of Famer, your father. Don't choke me up here if you're going to want me to talk. Great, uh, great man. Great, great. He had a great Breeders' Crown himself. Now you're right here in the winner's circle. Yeah, this is uh, not that I can ever do anything to surpass my father, but he never won a Breeders' Crown on the pace. So I kind of got, it's just uh, a little sentimental. You told me a little bit, this horse had some weight issues. Keeping weight on him during the year was, was a problem. He got a little sick. We, we thought he was a good horse early in the year. And like George said, for a horse to race and early and win the junior trendsetter and come back and win the Breeders' Crown, that's not a testament to me. It's a testament to the animal and the caretaker, the second trainer, the whole barn. But uh, he got a little ill early in the year. He had a stomach problem, and we lost weight on him. We uh, were very worried about him. We gave him a midsummer's break, and he came back real tremendous. And you withdrew him from the Harrisburg sale, too, didn't you? Yeah, that, w that was kind of a, a safe fall. We didn't know how the illness was going to affect him when he came back racing. And when he came back and he showed that he was himself and he still had his speed, then we decided we'd uh, take a shot. Could be a real nice four- or five-year-old, too, huh? I think you'll see him here in the fall, provided he stays in one piece. That was his last race for this year, and he's got late closers and uh, all that four-year-old stuff. And I, I would have to think that some of these better colts that race tonight are going to be going to this shed, so maybe he'll, he'll have a ch chance to shine. Can't keep the Schultes down. Father, son are here. Buzzy, congratulations.